have a, a really really nice Christmas mood so I am pre-filming this video because currently uh, when you watch this video I will be in Greece for the Christmas vacation we are um, one day before Christmas I hope you're having wonderful holidays I hope you're spending really nice time with your friends and family as I am <laughs> right now and uh, I decided to film uh, some of the Christmas videos and the holidays videos so that they will be ready before I leave because I didn't want to leave you without any video so we are in a very uh, celebratory mood you can see the reindeer ears and uh, uh, you can see like the little Christmas tree earrings I'm even wearing a Christmas jumper so I hope that you are having a great holiday and today I want to talk to you about uh, my 14 favorite makeup products for 2014. So last year I did um, a similar video in Greek for my 13 uh, favorite products in 2013 and I did it uh, as a collab together with um, a friend of mine who is also a Greek uh, YouTuber. Uh, but this year I thought that I will break this in two parts. I really like the idea so I decided to do it again instead of doing um, favorites for December. So this part will be about makeup and um, the last day of uh, 2014. Next Wednesday uh, I will show you my 14 favorites about skin care and body care and hair care. So I really hope that you like this idea and you will enjoy these videos. I'm starting, I have all the products here prepared and uh, I really hope that this video will not be huge. So most of these products I have shown you in monthly favorites but most of them are products that I, I either uh, discovered in 2014 or they got tons of use in 2014. The only product that it's kind of a, a noldy that I really uh, liked since long and I have even saw that in 2013 it's the first one that I will start and this is the Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced and I love this bronzer so much so this is the lighter say there is also the Chocolate Soleil bronzer it smells like chocolate I use it every day and I have a lot of bronzers and I have some with a bit of simmer I have a lot of matte bronzers but this is the one that if I open my drawer to get a bronzer I will always always get this one and grab this one so I think for me it's a stable I will always have a bronzer like that in my collection and I really really love it and I think that you should try it and uh, if you're a bit more uh, dark skin then you can try the chocolate soleil one although I think that because it's very easy to blend even fair skinned people can uh, pull off the chocolate soleil one I actually have that one also in um, a couple of my Too Faced palettes and uh, I like it quite a lot but I prefer this one really with a huge difference. Next I have a base and this is my all-time favorite base and this is from Hourglass and it's the Veil Mineral Primer Oil-Free Broad Spectrum SPF 15. This is one of the most expensive but also one of the best primers I have used for my face. It is so luxurious and it feels so nice when you apply it on the face and especially afterwards when you're applying your foundation. I really think that I would be repurchasing this product again and again and I really really love it. I think that this product definitely worth the money. Um, after the base I want to talk to you about uh, two foundations and one of them unfortunately you can only find in Greece. This is by a Greek brand and the brand is called Radiant and it is the Air Finish Long Lasting Makeup. It's uh, one of the products I have featured in my Greek Beauty series where I talk to you about products that you should try if you traveling to Greece about makeup and skincare and this is 
really an excellent foundation. It's one of the best foundations I have ever tried. It's really travel friendly. Uh, I like the packaging and although it doesn't have a pump, it's very easy to use. It's plastic, it's compact, you can get it uh, with you everywhere and uh, it has 40 ml instead of 30 and it gives such a beautiful natural result. If you don't really like the very matte cakey result, I think that you will love a foundation like this. And the similar Logic foundation, although it's a bit more covering, is the new Dior Skin Star foundation from Dior. And this is my favorite foundation so far. I really, uh, I really have to review this for you together with some other high-end foundations, but I love this. I am in the shade 22 and this is just amazing if you want a foundation that always looks good on you. I, f I would definitely choose that and again without any uh, heavy result that doesn't look natural. I really like this one and most of the times I don't even need to powder it. Um, I have another face product, actually it is an eyebrow product and it's again from Hourglass. So Hourglass actually wins this time because it has two products in the 14 products for 2014. And this is the Arc Brow Sculpting Pencil. I have the say it's Soft Brunette and this comes with a spoolie in one side and with the actual product in the other which looks like that. I really like the shape, I really like how easy it makes my eyebrow makeup. And this is why I actually chose it, because I like also to do my brows sometimes with a brush and with shadows, but the difference is that with this, it's so quick and so easy, so I actually really, really love it. And I, I will also be repurchasing that when it's finished, although it's really expensive too. Uh, I have uh, one last face product, and this time this is a highlighter, and it's a liquid highlighter, and this is the Strobe Liquid Lotion. So... A lot of people are um, using the Strobe Cream by MAC, but um, I have seen a video from Dustin Hunter, I will have the link down below, he's one of my favorite YouTubers, and he was uh, showing how we should use Strobe Liquid, and since then I fell in love with this product, I really had to try it, and it really is amazing, and it gives such a nice glow without glitter or without looking too heavy and you look so beautiful glowing and natural. I always use this one when I feel that I need a boost of um, glow in my skin and I really really love it. I have two tools and uh, they are the Real Technique Sponge. So I'm not a huge fan of makeup sponges, I prefer using brushes so I'm actually not using that for my makeup but I'm using that for my concealer and I actually love it a lot and I also love the fact that it's cut out like that so I actually think that I love this more than I would like the classic um, beauty blender sponge I have not used that one, I might use it in the future to compare but I really really like the Real Techniques one a lot for my concealer and I have another tool and this one is a brush and it is the NARS ETA brush that I always, always use since I got it for my contouring. The only case that I will not grab this brush is if it's washed and it dries. So in any other case, I will always grab this brush and I love it a lot. I think it makes contouring really easy, really practical. I love the shape, I love how it blends the product. It is these two together, they're like all the time best friends. I have a few eye products and I have another Greek product but this is from a brand that you can find um, also in many other countries and this is by Cores and it is the Volcanic Minerals Twist Eyeshadow. So this is a cream eyeshadow stick. 
I have here the pink gold or rose gold, I don't remember the exact name, but it is a rose gold shade. Uh, and I love it a lot. It is really, really nice. It's easy to blend when you apply it, but then it sets and it doesn't move. It's great alone, it's great as a base, and I used it a lot as a base for my next favorite product, and this is the Naked Tree Palette. And I really wanted to show a palette and it was very difficult uh, because I couldn't choose. I love so many palettes and so many eyeshadows. It, similarly, I couldn't choose actually a blush. I mean, for me, blushes are my favorite makeup product and it would be impossible. Maybe I could do like 14 favorite blushes for 2014 but not choose one or two. But I had to put in this palette because since I got it, I'm using it so much, not only alone, but also in combination with other more colorful palettes. Especially there is in here a shadow that is called Nooner and it's a matte, perfect crease eye shadow. I love this palette so much. You have seen it from so many people. And if you are fair skinned and cool toned, you will really, really love this palette and it will look great on you. Um, I have a last eye product and this is a mascara. I have uh, discovered many many really nice mascaras in 2014 but this is the Tarte Light Camera Flashes. I love this. This comes in this gold packaging. I don't really dig the packaging but I love the brass. It's a plastic really huge brass that gives a very intense result without sticking the um, eyelashes together without making them combi and crumbly. I hate that and uh, this is a really really nice mascara and let me show you a bit quickly the result although I think I have shown that again in the past. So you can see here the result of the mascara and you can also see my uh, holiday makeup that it's really gold. I have one of my favorite pigments from Glamour Dolai that looks like liquid gold on the eyes and you can see the result of the mascara and what I really like is that it gives this intense result although this is like one or maximum two coats without having to wear false eyelashes or without having to put like five coats of mascara to have an intense result. A few more products left and I will continue with some lip products and here is the joke that I don't have any lipsticks to sew because I really wanted to sew two glosses. I don't like glosses so much but these glosses really change the way I see the lip gloss product as a product. And these are the Buxom lip glosses. I have a mini size here from a kit that I have reviewed. I will have all the links down below and this is the, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's M-W-A-H and this is a really cool pink nude gloss with a lot of simmer in it. I never wear glosses alone, like 90% of the times at least I will just wear them over a lipstick but this one really is not sticky, it looks very beautiful and it looks really cool over a lipstick. And next I have a phenomenal product and it's by Clarins and it is the Eclat Minute. No, sorry, I am reading the French version. So it's the Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector and this product is really transforming your lips. And I have the shade 5, it just gives a hint of color but makes your lips look so wonderful. If you have a very heavy eye and you don't really want anything strong on the lips or if for every day you just want a natural eye look with a very natural lippy, this is the best choice and I really have to get more sage. So, last product, 14th for 2014. And this is nail polish and I have a specific one to sew but it's in general a brand of nail polishes and this is Candy Lacquer, this is a Swiss indie brand 
and you can find them in their online shops and in, in the, some other online retailers. I love this brand a lot. I think that all the policies I have tried are excellent in quality. I'm also wearing my Christmas nails today and they are from their last year's Christmas collection. I will have the names of the products down below. And uh, what I want to show is the Day is Gone, which is currently my favorite nail polish and uh, I think it will be one of my absolute favorite of all times. And it's from the Sons of Anarchy collection and it is so amazingly beautiful. So these were all the products that I wanted to show you for today's video. It's the 14 favorite products for 2014 for makeup. And next uh, week, next Wednesday, um, I will have up the 14 favorite products for skincare, hair care and body care for 2014. I really hope that you are enjoying your holidays and spending wonderful time with your friends and families. And um, I will see you next week. If you like this video, remember to thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel. And we will talk soon in the next video. Bye bye!